I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I'm gonna miss you guys. Ah, I'm going to ride it. Will be. Mama, I'm a What is up guys? Today we're grabbing a coffee. What makes a coffee run so special that it requires a video? The fact that I'm on two wheels of course. Oh man. I don't regularly commute on the freeway anymore and it does make me a little skittish when I do. Especially in scenarios like this where the traffic is very much free flowing and everyone's doing the speed limit but there are still quite a few cars around and everyone's kind of boxed in together in close proximity. So we're going to do our best to remain out of blind spots, create a space cushion like this when we pass the car and then we get back into this side of the lane so that people can actually see me in their rear view mirrors. But the thing is when it's this congested you don't want to do that too much. You just got to prepare for someone to, to pull out at any second uh, because people in this lane will be trying to overtake those in front of them. So these aren't exactly my favourite conditions for an M1 run, that is for sure. The weather is perfect though. That temperature is crisp, the sun is out. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. And, you know, a motorcycle turns a dull freeway run into something fun. But it's even better when that motorcycle has four cylinders and sounds just like this. Like the Ninja 400 with its 180 parallel twin. It's still fun because it's a motorbike, but it doesn't give you that same sensation of power and speed like this does. This thing both sounds and feels effortless at freeway speeds. This is the one place where the CBR650R's weight becomes an advantage over the Ninja 400's lack of weight. When I'm out commuting in the suburbs or the CBD, uh, I want a lightweight bike like the Ninja 400. When I'm out in the hills, the twisties, those tight technical curves, I want a lightweight bike like the Ninja 400. But when I'm out here on the freeway at this kind of speed, not much turning to be done, I'm copying a lot of crosswind, uh, the extra weight acts as a form of stability and comfort. Look at that fog. This just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Dude, this looks so cool. It's like something out of a movie. Very cool. Ah. So we could either take a major arterial road or continue along the freeway a bit longer. It takes around the same amount of time, but the freeway means you, uh, you are traveling a slightly longer distance. And nine out of 10 times, I will pick the freeway because it is actually the safer option. On the freeway, you have extremely wide lanes and you just have to focus on what's ahead of you, really. Whereas on those major arterial roads, you've got intersection after intersection. You've got people pulling out of side streets. You've got people uh, pulling U-turns from the median strip. There are so many places where a car can kind of come out of nowhere and ruin your day, potentially your life. When you come to an intersection, you've got to worry about whether the person behind you is going to come to a stop. When you take off from a set of lights, you've got to worry about red light runners. Wow, this is such a vibe, guys. It's so eerie. <laughs> and it feels so cool when I'm on this sports bike in a slightly aggressive riding position, slicing through the fog on this bright red obnoxious machine. When there are this many cars, your brain is working overtime. You're scanning every angle for the possibility of a threat. You know, what if the car in front of me has to emergency brake? What if they swerve out of the way for a piece of debris? Uh, what if the cars next to me try and switch into the fast lane? All these things have to be considered. And this part of the freeway is pretty good because there is a massive shoulder to my right and I've got an escape route down here to my left and I'm staying on this side of the lane so that other cars can better see me and I can actually see straight ahead. The visibility I get is pretty immense. I can see so far ahead because most of the cars in this lane are sitting to the right hand side. It just gives me a clear corridor of vision. It's pretty funny. This feels more like a, a military mission rather than a coffee run. 
but that's just what owning and riding a motorcycle is like. When you're someone who is quite enthusiastic about motorcycle safety and you're someone who rides to survive, that's now your reality. You just cannot drop your guard. And the, the thing is, I do. Everyone does. We're humans. Every now and again, that, that guard drops. Your concentration lapses. Uh, but the, the less that happens, the more likely you are to, to come out alive. And, and that's the aim of the game here. We're trying to maximize fun while reducing risk. This is a very different type of ride to the one I was on yesterday, which was out in the twisties, out in the hills. Like, lots of people say freeway riding is boring, and I think I would agree if you had to do it every single day, twice a day, for a commute, yeah, it would kind of get old, but honestly, once or twice a week, and I still very much enjoy it. And I totally see how, if you had a bunch of mates riding with you, this would be even funner. Okay, they're checking the rear view mirror to make sure no one comes and collects me from behind because that was a pretty abrupt bit of traffic that popped up. Uh, but we're on a motorbike, so we kind of just go where we want, which is amazing. Yep, thank you. I will just slip in here, thanks. <laughs> Suckers! Man, riding a motorcycle is so fun, and it's just that much better when you get to do things like this. Look at that. Not only did we save a bunch of time by doing that, we also saved other people time because we were one less car in the queue, or one less vehicle in the queue. It's just, it's a win-win situation, which is why it baffles me when uh, people, especially Americans, you see a lot of American people get angry at filtering. Um, not so much here. Everyone kind of gets the memo. Everyone knows that filtering is legal and encouraged and they're used to it here in Melbourne, but it's just intri it's intriguing when I see people in other nations get upset and try and block filtering or, you know, they start honking. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't really baffle me. It's pretty clear what's going on. Uh, it's bruised ego. That's what it is. Like, a filtering motorcycle will not impact you in the slightest unless they're knocking your mirrors or something. But uh, otherwise, people are just mad. They're like, oh, why don't you wait in line like everyone else? <laughs> and there are so many logical, scientifically proven answers to that question. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a bruised ego that gets them all hot and bothered. Did you know here in Melbourne, it's actually illegal to obstruct, uh, intentionally obstruct someone filtering? I mean, it's pretty easy to say that you didn't do it intentionally and get away with it, but it is, it is illegal. All right, what coffee are we getting today? I think I'm gonna get a chai latte, which isn't even a coffee. But the reason for that is I am trying to cut back on my coffee. I've been doing pretty well with that for the past three, four years. I've been having like two coffees a week, but as of the past two months, I've now been having a coffee a day. And I just, I can feel that dependency crawling back in, that craving for caffeine. Man, this is the right way to start a Sunday on the CBR 650R, grabbing coffee with a mate. This is the life. Can we filter this without folding the mirrors? Yeah, we can, easy. I will say, commuting doesn't teach you how to get your knee down through a corner at like 100k an hour, but it does teach you fantastic slow speed control. G'day. Nice bike. Thanks man. Do you ride? I used to. <laughs> oh, what did you used to ride? Suzuki. Oh, nice. Why'd you stop? <laughs> like, Why? I feel you, I man. I'm starting and I'm very tempted to look for the second-hand bikes. Uh, you should. Yes. Man, this is, it's so fun. <laughs> I see your friend. Oh, <laughs> yo. Hey, man. I was just uh, having a chat with this gentleman oh, yeah. about motorcycles. Yeah. 
Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch you on the next one. You say you've got them guns, but I've never seen you bang. You say you've got them drugs, but I've never seen you slang.